Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to automatically close your Google Form after a maximum number of entries is received or after a fixed date and time. This easy solution will save you a lot of hassle. Just set it and forget it. Okay, let's get started. First, you'll need the settings template. You can find the link in the video description below. Go ahead and make a copy for yourself, and I'll walk you through how to set it up. Great, the template is ready. All right, we first need to get the form URL. Let's head over to our form. Make sure you have edit access to your form. Copy the URL from here, then go back to the settings sheet and paste the URL right here. Next, we need to set the destination of the form responses to our file. Follow the steps shown in the video to set the form responses destination correctly. Okay, great. If you followed the steps correctly, the form responses sheet will now appear in this template. Let's fill in the exact name of the form responses tab over here. Next, in this cell, you can enter the maximum number of responses before the form is automatically closed. Now click on the special menu up here and select this option. Since this is the first time you're running the script, Google Sheets will ask for permissions. Just follow the prompts shown in this video to grant access. All right, let's test it. Fill out the Google form and press the submit button. Now, if you go back to the settings sheet, this number will track the total responses in your form. Let's fill out the form again and see what happens. Okay, now we've reached the maximum capacity. If you try to fill out the form again, you won't be able to proceed because the form is now automatically closed. As an added feature, you will also receive an email notification informing you that the form has been closed after reaching the maximum number of responses. Next, you can also automatically close the form at a specific date and time. To do this, you must first ensure that the spreadsheet time zone matches your local time zone. Adjust it accordingly. You'll also need to ensure that the project settings in Apps Script are set to your local time zone. Please adjust this as well. Once your time zone settings are correct, you can enter the closing date and time over here. The Google form will automatically close at this specified date and time. To set it up, you need to click on the special menu again and press this option right here. And just like before, you will receive an email notification once the form is closed. Oh, by the way, Remember to disable all triggers by clicking this option once you're no longer using the Google Form. And that's it. With just a few clicks, you can fully automate Google Forms closing. If you found this helpful, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more automation tips to make your life easier. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.